making sure we're live and it's all working and we're ready to start. Fantastic. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Now, if you haven't been to one of these before, a couple of words that I want to use as an introduction. Zoom doesn't allow us to sing together. It allows us to be together. It allows us to see each other. And seeing each other is very important. So whenever possible, we ask people to keep their cameras on. And we can sing together. That is to say, we can't create harmonies from all of our voices sounding together. But it doesn't mean that you can't sing together at your place. Uh, it means that you get to create your own harmonies. And if you are concerned about how you sound, well, you don't have to be concerned about how you sound. You just sing along. If you know the melodies that we use, great, sing along. If you don't know the melodies that we use, count to five and then sing along. That's the way it works at Temple Emmanuel. Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, Shir Hallelujah, Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, Shir Hallelujah, Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah. One of the most amazing things about Shabbat is the fact that we can come together. Now, I know, I know right now we can't, but I'm looking at my screen and I see people that have been part of Temple Emmanuel community for well over 50 years. And I see people who have joined our Story Hour class just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and everyone in between, of course, our fifth and sixth graders are continuing to arrive. That is really exciting to see all of you. What a wonderful gift that we have. Usually the gift is of being there in person. But you know what? While we can't be there in person, we can still be together. And that's what's the most important thing anyway, right? So we join together with the words of a blessing that celebrates this, mo this moment of being together. It's not really a blessing. It's a quote from Psalm 133. Hine how fantastic it is to be together. How sweet. 
sweet it is to be together on this day. How good it is, how sweet it is to be together. Aleichem, Shalom 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 So we are going to welcome each other. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to turn around to the people sitting next to you if you have somebody there in the house with you. And you're going to wish them Shabbat Shalom. Go ahead. You do that. If you have your kids there with you, you can wish them Shabbat Shalom. Maybe give them a kiss. That's like, I like that, Max. Or if you're kids, you can wish Shabbat Shalom to people sitting next to you. Very good. Very good. And now I want you to do something that... I haven't actually done this since March, so this is very exciting. Usually I invite, or often, not every time, but every now and again, um, I invite people to pick somebody uh, uh, from the crowd that they either haven't met or haven't seen for a long time and to walk across our, um, our Kiddush Lounge and to say Shabbat Shalom to them and introduce themselves. So we can't really do that. So here's what I'm going to invite you to do. Uh, open the chat function. Find, um, uh, find, or look, look on the screen, find the person that you don't know, okay? Um, it's not fair to go to your best friends. Find the person you don't know, open the chat function with them, and send them a private message. Wish them Shabbat Shalom. Tell them who you are, because I know we have some names on the screen, but there is more than one person uh, in many of those windows. So tell, tell them who you are. Ask them who they are. Uh, wish them Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to them to Temple Emmanuel Shabbat. Go ahead um, and go. Uh, I'm going to use the fact that it's going to be harder for me to drop the guitar and to start typing. And I'm going to say Shabbat Shalom to Laura Adams, who is coming to us all the way from Boston. Woo! -hoo! So excited to have you back. Uh, all right. And while you guys are doing that, uh, now just keep it clean, people. Okay. Remember, uh, this is this is a wonderful Shabbat communication. We are going now that we have said Shabbat Shalom to each other. Um, we're going to say Shabbat Shalom to Shabbat. Uh, by the way, I can see all of you, so you can clap and dance away. Bim, bom, bim, biri, bom, bim, biri, bim, bim, bom. Bim, bom, bim, biri, bom, bim, biri, bim, bim, bom. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat, 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 shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat, 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 shabbat shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Bom bim biri bom bim biri bim bim bom biri 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 bim bom bim biri bom bim biri bim bim bom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Now I see that many of you have prepared the candles um, uh, If you can make sure that they are in our in front of your camera somehow or at least safely in the shot some of you have already lit your candles. That's fine. That's great. Uh, we are going to light the candles. Um, so one of the traditions is that we invite the family of the Bat Mitzvah to light Shabbat candles. So we are going to do this. I'm actually going to try and see. I can spotlight. 
Uh, there we go. I can spotlight the assessments. All right, go ahead. Light the candles. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kidishanu bemitzvotav Vetzihivanu lehad likner Lehad likner Shel Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Look at those beautiful candles. One of my favorite moments of the day. From mountain to sea, hear our song. God's light, we rejoice. So now let us listen with all of our heart to hear God's voice. Beautiful light that you guys have just lit. It's not just a light of Shabbat candles. It's the light for all of the world. It's the light of Shabbat. And we are so excited to share it with each other. <laughs> Zarua, Pat Sadiq, Ud Shrey Lev Simcha. Or Zarua, Lat Sadiq, Ud Shrey Lev Simcha. Ud Shrey Lev Simcha. Or Zarua, Lat Sadiq, Ud Shrey Lev Simcha. Ud Shrey Lev Simcha. Yana na. Wow, 
when we say hello to Shabbat, we welcome it with the words of a special song that was written uh, in terms of Jewish history not that long ago. It is 16th century. In terms of general understanding of history, uh, this is quite a long time ago, and it is called Lechadodi. And it's the, the song that celebrates this incredible moment of celebration of Shabbat that comes in every Friday night, where it's so special, so exciting. It's like a big wedding uh, for all of us every Friday night. How cool is that? Shamor bezachor bedibur echad Ishmi anu el ha-meyuchad Adonai echad u'shemo echad L'shem ultiferem velid chila la 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 L'chad odi l'grat l'grat kala Penei penei shabat l'kabela L'chal echad odi l'grat l'grat kala Penei penei shabat l'kabela Likrat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha Ki hi mekor abracha Merosh mi kedem nesucha Sofna ase b'mach Shabbat chila la 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 Lecha dodi Likrat likrat kala Benei benei Shabbat mekabela Lecha lecha dodi Likrat likrat kala Benei benei Shabbat mekabela Itoreri, itoreri, kiva me or, rechku mi ori, uri uri sheir da beri, voda donai alaich nigla la 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 chadodi lekad lekad kala, penei penei shabat nekabela, lechal chadodi lekad lekad kala, penei penei shabat nekabela. Shalom, Ater et Bala, Gam besimcha uvetzola, Koch emunei am segula, Oi chala, oi chala, Lecha, lecha dog, Lekrat, lekrat, kala, penei, penei, shabat, nekabela. Lekha, lekha, dodi, lekrat, lekrat, kala, penei, penei, shabat, nekabela. La, 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 lekha, dodi, lekrat, lekrat, kala, penei, penei, shabat, nekabela. Lekha, lekha, dodi, lekrat, lekrat, kala, penei, penei. Shabbat Shalom. Shilayom 
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Now, as I have said in the beginning, we are so excited that today our Shabbat, our family Shabbat celebration is shared not just with all of us, but we have some very special visitors, very special guests. And so to introduce our very special guests who are coming to share some very cool things with us, uh, more Janet and more Annie. Uh, there you guys are. I'm going to try and spot. Well, I'm first going to stop the share and then I'm going to spotlight you guys so that everyone can see you. Ooh. <laughs> Wonderful. That made me come up really big on my own screen. It was a little creepy. <laughs> uh, can I go ahead and share, Rabbi? Yes. Okay. One second. Uh, Hold on. Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Hold on. Maura Jan and I are so proud to be the co-teachers of the co-fifth and sixth grade Judaics class. And we will get to hear from a bunch of those students today. Yep, one, in one second, um, when I'm not having a technical difficulty. And Jan and I did not plan our coordinating patterns. Oh. No, we did not, but we're pretty cool though. All right, I got it. All right, so, hold on. Thumbs up if you can see it. All right, so, um, hold on, am I even, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so, Maura and Annie, Maura, Annie and I have been working with the kids on learning about the prophets this year. And in a minute, we're going to actually um, go through some different slides and the kids uh, are going to be able to read their comments for you. Um, but first I'm gonna have more Annie explain a little bit about how we're running our class this year. Sure. So as we study the prophets this year, our theme is what prophets do. What do prophets do? Prophets write, speak, and show. So prophets are great communicators. They are, they are leaders in the Jewish people who write, speak, and show what the Jewish people need to do to make a better world. So we've learned about different prophets from the Tanakh. We've even met some of them. They have a real family resemblance to people who are on our religious school staff today and have interviewed them and learned about how they write, speak, and show. And today our fifth and sixth graders are gonna do a little bit of, of speaking and showing of their own. They've each responded to the question, if you were a prophet, what would you write, speak, and show to the people? What would you communicate that you think the world needs to know right now in order to make the world a better place? All right, are we ready? All right, first up, Eitan, are you out there? I know he's there. Yeah, so if I were a prophet, I would tell the people we need to wear a mask because during the pandemic, we need to lower the communication of the spread of the virus. As a scientist, a doctor, and other researchers have proved we need to wear a mask. This virus has killed over 200,000 people in the United States of America. We want to save lives. We are good people. Wear a mask. Very nice. Thank you, Eitan the prophet. All right, Abby Sussman. Um, if I were a prophet, I would um, tell the people to stop cutting down too many trees. It's because tree supplies with oxygen, keeping the air clean. And so that, and make sure that whenever you cut down one tree, you want to make sure you plant two in its place. Because um, trees are very important for, um, uh, for us to live because they could supply us with shelter, food, and oxygen. Trees are very important to our ecosystem. So remember that every time you cut down one tree, plant two in its place. Very nice. Thank you, Abby. All right, is Nadav on? I don't think I saw him come on. I saw him earlier. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Nadav, I'm sorry. Go ahead, can you read yours? Um, I would, I would say if I were a prophet, I would 
tell the people to be safe and to keep our masks on because we're in the middle of a global pandemic and it's important to do that. So very nice. Stop. Yeah. Avery. I know I saw Avery out there. Hello. Hi. I would write to speakers show the people that animals matter. These are animals out in the wild that get abused and killed. Each year, there are around 100 million animals that get killed to make clothing for humans. Go to the website or a local animal shelter and donating a few dollars can make a difference in animals' lives. These, anim these amazing creatures deserve a happy life just like we have. Wonderful. Thank you, Ava. All right. I don't think Sophia's on tonight, so I'll read hers for her. Um, one of her profits is donating time uh, by giving to the less fortunate clothes, personal care, and bringing food to the soup kitchen. Um, she herself collects food, old towels, and blankets for animal rescue shelters. So that's Sophia. And I don't think Max came on, um, but he's warning people about COVID so they could avoid it. And Ava, I'm pretty sure I saw Ava on. Ava's here. My people, when times are hard, you must persevere. Maybe you feel like giving up because you may be hungry or sick or jobless during this time. Or if you have a family member who has passed away or sick, this is a death, a death depressing, a depressing time, but we must be strong. We must work together to get through these hard times. So I give you this message. You are strong. God is with you. You will persevere. Keep going. That's wonderful. That's up there with our most poetic prophets. Yes. And Raven? Um, I'm going to read Raven's. Um, Raven says, if you want people to respect you, then you have to respect them. And if you treat people well and they treat you well, then we will get rid of discrimination against black people, Jews, women, gay people, and more. And the world would be a better place for all people. So the, 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 um, the advice is to be kind to others and they will be kind to you. Nice job, Raven. Okay, Izzy, I know I saw Izzy out there. I said, if I were a prophet, I would write, speak, or show the people to be respectful of the place around them and to take care of the place around them. I would say this because some people might not think about this and are not thoughtful about the place around them. Good advice. Nice job. All right, Nessa. If I were a prophet, I would tell people to wear a mask and I would tell them to be thankful for teachers and nurses. Nice. Dylan? I know I saw Dylan. I know I saw Dylan. I'm here. Can you read yours for us? Yeah. If I were a prophet, I would write, speak, or show the people that we are going to make it through COVID-19 like Noah did through the storm. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Serena? If I were a prophet, I would write, speak, or show the people. I would convince people to care for the environment, and I would try to educate people about the consequences of not following coronavirus rules, and I would show the people the damage, the damage that the climate change is doing. Excellent. Abby. If I were a prophet, I would, I would speak or show or write the people about saving the environment and our trees, plants, and animals. I would talk about supporting people who care about these things, and not supporting people who don't. You must support people who are willing to do anything they can to help our environment. I shouldn't be in the car and look out the window and see cans, bottles, and Dunkin' Donuts on the side of the road. We need to stop this now. I quite agree. <laughs> and Gabe says, if I were a prophet, I would show people how to fix all the global, pro global problems like global warming and police brutality. Anya? If I were a prophet, I would write, speak, or show people. Um, I would tell them to be grateful for the healthcare workers. 
Excellent. Thanks, Anya. And that is the fifth and sixth grade. They have a lot of messages for us to think about. All good stuff. All good stuff. Thanks. For what what an what an amazing uh, way. Uh, so uh, for, for those of you who don't have children in Hebrew school, as you can imagine, Hebrew school is uh, a wonderful but a challenging uh, um, opportunity for us to engage with the next generation. And of course, you need fantastic students, just as perfect as ours, and you need great teachers. And this, this grade this year has uh, amazing teachers. Annie and Janet, we are so grateful to you for everything that you guys do. But of course, you take all of this difficulty and you mix it together and then you throw a 2020 in. Uh, and I have to say that this the work that you guys are doing, I had an honor of pre, uh, of showing up for a job interview for a profit uh, at least once. It was uh, one of the most memorable uh, events of my life. This was very cool. I, I don't know, though, if I was chosen or not. My understanding is that you may have voted to give my job to somebody else. I think Sean was more persuasive. Um, so thank you guys so much for all of your hard work. And thank you to our amazing students for, for doing all this work and then for coming to share with us as well. Um, Sharkoach to all of you. Veshamru vene Israel et hashabat vasot et hashabat le dorotam beritolam. Veshamru vene Israel et hashabat vasot et hashabat le Bene Israel, Bene Israel, Odi Leolam, Beshamru, Bene Israel, Et Hashabat, Lasot, Et Hashabat, Le Dorotam Beritolam, Kisheshet Yami, Asadona. Asa Adonai et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz ve-shamru v'ne Yisrael et ha-shabat l'asot et ha-shabat l'dorotam berit olam u-vayom ha-shvi Shabbat v'inafash Shabbat v'inafash Shabbat v'inafash v'shamru v'ne Yisrael et ha-shabbat l'asot et ha-shabbat l'dorot ha-berit olam. So we continue our service with the words of Mishaberach. We pray for the health of our loved ones who struggle with illness at this time. As I re read through the list of names that will also show up for you on the screen, I invite you to put those uh, additional names, if you have them, into the chat. You can uh, send them directly to me or uh, I'll put them into a general chat as well so that we can add those names to um to all those who are already on the list. Tonight, we pray for health of Naomi Batvega, Stuart Engar, Martin Lifshitz, Megan Gleason, Nada Ottenstein, Stephen Golub, Rita Sachs, Louis Gordon, Marvin Lang, Shol Goeda, Sonia Noyes, Yona Ben Mine, Yitzhak Hirschel Ben Meir, Mark Levine, Sabrina Selfridge, Bonnie Fuhrer, Nick Randall, Pat Servun, Ruth Handler, Frank Alvarado, Pearl Rosner, Carling Wagner, Mayer Ben Gittel, Yechel Shaul Ben Rachel, Harriet Lieberman, Wendy Hoser, Joyce Hoser, Yefim Krieger, Elena Berger, Mark Rigo, Mitch Broder, Anne Rack, David Chaim Ben Pinchas, Irene David, Melissa Perkal, Steve Schiff, Gary Teller, Michael Sachs, Ruth Scheinfeld, David Pellet, Roberta Tishman, Shoshana Batzerella, Steve Goodman, Zvi Ben Dina, Zviven Yaakov Vilea, Susan Pinsky Bleeks, Paulette Marcus, James Murray, Kathy Langston, Hannah Bella Batlibi Cecil, Laban David Benheim, 
Rachel Perlman, Sue Daniello, Sharon Rocha, Anna Whitcore, Randy Sobelman, Zev Ben David, Susan Mingione, Doug Stacy, Hyman Gluck, Judy Goldman, and Eliezer Ben Sarina. You've had, I see that there are quite a few names uh, that have been put into chat. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the beginning. Alison Tischler, Richard Nathman, Diana Adams, Andy Jablon, Jimmy Sullivan, Sarah Solomon, Jeff Ritterman, Stuart Koritsky, Dave Knight, Joan and Dick Galinka, Doug T, Roger Adel, Caitlin Matteo and Emilia Villarreal, Bless, Bess Fleischman, George Zimbel, Marley Alprin, Amy Dribben, Marvin and Vicky Moss, Marion and Bob Drobish, Roberta Vine, Pascal Panza, Norton Elson, Sue Kaplan, Jerry Williams, and of course, all those who struggle with COVID-19 around the globe. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofea Cholim, Blessed Ayodonai, who sends healing to those who are in need of healing. Now, one of our traditions on Family Shabbat is to share a story. And I have asked more Olga to share an absolutely marvelous story with all of us. So, um, usually this is the moment when I invite all of the kids to come up and have a seat on the carpet in, in the middle of the sanctuary. This is a story for children. The grown-ups get to listen in. Now, those stories, they tend to contain something important for adults too. So... Gather up. This is uh, easiest because everybody has the front row, right? Nobody has to uh, to compete. Make sure you can hear well and you can see the pages of the book. Uh, Olga, over to you. Thank you so much, Rabbi. So uh, a couple of weeks ago in our Hebrew school, we did a little poll. We asked all of our uh, students, teachers and madrichim, uh, what are their favorite activities on Shabbat? And we came up with a fantastic, very inspiring list of things uh, to do, like sleep, cook and eat our favorite foods, play board games, go for a walk and connect with nature, spend time with our family and friends to read, to learn something, something new. And of course, on this list was share your favorite stories with your friends. So as all of us prepare to celebrate Hanukkah in uh, just a very few days, I have a story to share with you today. And the story is called Sadie's Almost Marvelous Menorah. 
Sadie loved school, just like our Temple Emmanuel religious school children do. She loved the Hebrew songs the children sang during music, the wooden play sink in the kitchen corner, and the reading nook with its comfy chairs and colorful books. She loved the boys and girls in her class, and she especially loved her teacher, Maura Rachel. On Monday morning at circle time, Maura Rachel asked the class, can you guess what holiday starts this week? All the children chimed in at once, Hanukkah. Sadie loved Hanukkah. She loved to spin dreidels and to eat potato latkes with applesauce. Most of all, she loved to help mommy and daddy light their Hanukkah menorahs. Maura Rachel said, this week, we are going to make our own menorahs. How exciting, thought Sadie. My very own Hanukkah menorah. Sadie couldn't wait to start. On Tuesday, Maura Rachel brought out big blocks of clay for each child. The children uh, needed rolled and shaped their menorahs. Sadie used a pencil to poke holes in the clay to hold eight candles. Then she rolled a small ball of clay, put one more hole in it, and attached it to the top. This was for the shamash, the candle used to light all the others. On Wednesday, Maura Rachel brought out different colors of paint. There was purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow, and pink. Children put on their smocks and began to paint. They speckled and spotted and striped their menorahs. Sadie painted her pink with blue squiggles. <clears throat> on Thursday, Maura Rachel taught the children the Hanukkah blessings and they all sang them together. On Friday, Sadie ran all the way to school because today she would take home her pink and blue menorah. <clears throat> all morning, she imagined how it would look on the windowsill in the living room. At pickup time, Sadie waited for her mommy to arrive. As soon as she saw her, she started to run. But in her excitement, she tripped and fell and the menorah flew out of her arms. <clears throat> Sadie burst into tears and ran across the room into her mother's arms. <clears throat> mommy, mommy, I dropped my menorah and it broke into a million zillion pieces. Sadie's mother hugged her and said, let's see if we can pick them up and glue them back together. But even if, as she spoke, her mother could see that the shattered pieces were too small. There were pieces of Sadie's menorah in the dress up corner and pieces in the block corner. There were pieces under the snack table and pieces under the easel. Silently, the children began to help gather them. Maura Rachel placed all the pieces in the small plastic bag. As they left the classroom, Sadie noticed something near the door. Look, it's the shamash, she said, and it's not broken. Sadie, this is an extra special shamash, her mother said, and I think we can find an extra special job for it. You know that when we light the menorah, we use the shamash to light all the other candles. But how do we light the shamash? That can be the job for your shamash. We'll call it Sadie's super shamash. Sadie picked up her little pink shamash and cradled it ever so carefully in her hands. <clears throat> then that night, Sadie, her brother Ori, her parents and grandparents gathered to light the first Hanukkah candle. They had decorated the house with drawings of dreidels, menorahs, and stars of David. The table was covered with latkes, donuts, and Hanukkah gelb. On the windowsill stood four Hanukkah menorahs waiting to be lit. Right in the middle was Sadie's little pink and blue, super shamash. Sadie put a candle in her super shamash and daddy helped her light it. Then carefully, she used it to light the shamash on all four menorahs. And as Sadie's family, that is how the Hanukkah menorahs are lit, even today. In two weeks, 
On Sunday, December the 13th, our school will be celebrating Hanukkah with um, a special Hanukkah program. As part of it, every student in our school will make their own little Hanukkah to use at home. It will not break. We are not making it out of clay. We are using metal parts to make sure that they survive, even if we trip and fall down, and that happens sometimes. But what a beautiful message from this story that we can all learn today. Sometimes things break. Sometimes we have difficulties and challenges in our lives. But if we are creative, if we are kind to each other, if we work together, we fill this world with the light of our candles, of our smiles, of our hugs, in person or virtual ones. So may this Shabbat, as every other Shabbat, be filled with just those good things for every family, for every person in the world. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much for a beautiful, uh, beautiful story. I think if ever there was a perfect story for Hanukkah for, for, uh, for a specific year, that would be the story and this is the year. Sometimes we can make the most amazing things uh, even in the most difficult circumstances. And um, of course, Hanukkah is coming. Did you guys know Hanukkah is coming? Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? Okay, I hope that many of you have started receiving those candles, those Hanukkah candles that we have sent out and our wonderful volunteers have been driving around town. Towns, I should say. Lots and lots of towns. Uh, so I know we've seen some notices from people receiving those candles and uh, we are just as excited as you are. And I'm so grateful to our wonderful volunteers who have put it together. And Sue, I know you are here. I don't see you on the screen right now, but uh, that's because there are so many faces on the screen. Thank you to, to Sue and to Barbara for organizing this uh, and for all of our wonderful drivers delivering the candles to everyone. And next Friday, can you believe it? It's already next Friday. We will come together for Shabbat Hanukkah like we've never had it before and we'll bring our Hanukkiahs and we we'll put them in front of the screen and, uh, and in front of camera and we will absolutely fill our screens with light. Uh, it's going to be super, super special. shalom Shalom also have a tradition of celebrating all of the children's birthdays that occur in this month and we certainly have some exciting birthdays to celebrate uh, this week this year this month this week I am uh, losing my count here so I see so many of you guys are here uh, Sasha Dvorkin um, is turning eight woohoo this Saturday tomorrow Wow, Mazel Tov. And uh, Mehdi Sussman is turning 13 this December. Who knew how exciting we are for you, Maddie? Uh, Avery Olshansky is turning 11. Wow, Mazel Tov. Uh, Diego Flores is turning 12 December 23rd. Where are you? There he is. 
Wow, growing up there, Diego. Okay, uh, we also have birthdays, uh, Ella Carmelli and Alina Davis, who I don't know if I have seen them on the screen, but we get to celebrate with them nonetheless. So you guys are ready? Uh, yo muledet samech, woo! Yo muledet, I don't see the woos! Samech, woo! Yo muledet samech! Yom Oledet Sameh. Happy birthday to all of you. And may your birthdays be filled with lots of Hanukkah light for many of you. And lots and lots of exciting and wonderful things. Um, so wonderful uh, that you are here to celebrate with us also and to share this special uh, occasion with us as well. I invite now everyone to rise as we conclude our service with the words of Kaddish. And so once again, I will, <coughs> I will be reading the names that we have on our list. And if you want to add additional names, uh, if somebody has a yard site, you can put them into the chat directly to me. So this coming week, we observe the yard sites of David Diamondstein, who's remembered by Judy Alprin, uh, Edith Farber, uh, mother of Len, Marion Feldman, mother of Joan Kleiger, Gregory Freed, father of Hillary, Nathan Handler, father of Larry, Alice Lieberman, aunt of Randy Rubin Rodriguez, William Post, uncle of Peter Stoltzman, Marjorie Ryak, mother of Ken, Hilda Sandler, grandmother of Tracy Izzo, Samuel Saxon, father of Bert, Leopold Slosberg, grandfather of Judy Alprin, Harry Stoltzman, grandfather of Peter, and Faye Wexler, aunt of Lou Schaefer. We also remember those who uh, has passed away in recent weeks and months. <clears throat> uh, we, tonight we remember Ruth Rosenthal, Milton Walk, Pat Valente, Selma Fishkind, Talma Fenichel, Lori Schuster, June Gordon, Trina Cohen, Harold Eichler, Mitch Fleischmann, Israel Weiser, Lynette Bletchman, Renee Lifschitz, Robert van der Eyck, Ted Rashofsky, Fred Candioti, Harvey Cederbaum, Harriet Schachtral Fieri, Norma Botwin, Medi Stusnik, Celia Gordon, Marcia Sabbath, Annette Elstein, Dan Brown, Bernard Singer, Mac Hargrove, Rita Miller, and Paul Michelson. Um, there are some additional names that I see. Darlene Harper, Joanna Valente, Orange Fire Marshal Tim Smith. Zecher Tzadik Levracha, may the righteous in, uh, memory of righteous endure for a blessing. May comfort come to all the mourners as we say the words of Kaddish together. Yid Gadal Vid Kadash Miraba, Belma Divra Chirute Viam Lich Malchute. Bechaihon, the Yomehon, the Haye, the whole Beit Israel, Bagalau, Visman Karif, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh Mera Bam, Evarach, Le Alamul, Alme, Almaya, Yid Barach, Vish Tabach, Vait Baar, Vait Roman, Vait Nase, Vait Hadar, Vait Ale, Vait Halal, Shme de Kutsha, Brihu, Le Elam in Kol Birchata, Veshirata, Tush Bechata, Vednechemata, Da Miran Bi Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh lamar aba min shmaya v'chayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'imromav u'ya se shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Please be seated. And um, I am now <coughs> uh, ready to pass this on to um, uh, Mike Shambrom, who is going to share some announcements with us. Great, can you hear me? Yes. Excellent, Shabbat Shalom. A warm welcome to all visitors and to all of you who are joining us today. A big hearty mazel tov to Maddie Sussman and to her family on her bat mitzvah tomorrow. Next Friday, December 11th, is our virtual Shabbat Hanukkah celebration at 6 p.m. Bring your Hanukkah to the Zoom screen. The Hanukkah Gift Basket Program is scheduled for Sunday, December 13th. See the Shofar Blast for more information. December 19th at 5 p.m., Havdalah and a Talk with Eric Mendelson, Synagogue Architect with a Vision with Michael Palmer. Ritual Committee is collecting and seeking feedback on the High Holidays. Please send your comments to co-chairs Barbara Berkowitz or Dina Abate. 
Pop the Trunk Food Collection is scheduled at the High Plains Community Center in Orange this Sunday from 1 to 3 p.m. All the details of all of our events and programs are available on the TE website and in your weekly email, Shofar Blast. Are there any other brief TE announcements? Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. And uh, we are now turning to Alana. Um, she has something special to say. Hi, Alana. Hi, I'm unmuted. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, Maddie and all of you joining us for Shabbat service tonight. My role tonight is to congratulate you, Maddie, on behalf of the board of Temple Emmanuel and present you with both a Kiddush Cup and a Bat Mitzvah certificate. <laughs> uh, those I trust you have in your possession already and due to COVID, I regret not being able to give those to you personally, but I do have something to give with you, to give you or rather to show you. So I'm gonna share my screen. <clears throat> Can you all see my picture? I think it it is uh, so perfect that your bat mitzvah is just before Hanukkah and Hanukkah is really on the mind of all of us these days. Here's a picture that I have of last year's to a TE celebration with many families. We, we um, don't see the picture just yet. Oh, you don't see the picture. Thank you for telling me. What do you see? Anything? N Nothing? Nothing. Oh, there we go. It's coming. It's coming. How about now? Better? Perfect. Yes. Okay. So this is last year's celebration with all of our Hanukkah, and Hanukkah is the perfect time to think about our Temple Emmanuel community and how all of our individual lights come together to brighten the world. It's a beautiful sight. I wanted to share this with you, Maddie, because you are such a light to all of us at TE. You just shine, and you will shine tomorrow, and we are just so grateful that you've chosen to share your light with all of us. You are entering the TE, the TE community as an adult now, and we couldn't be happier to welcome you with open arms and hearts. Please call, call on any of us if you need anything at all. We are your TE family. Thanks for sharing your light with us. Enjoy tomorrow and mazel tov to your family and most especially to you, Maddie. Shabbat shalom. All right, now, uh, so, Alana, are you passing the the Kiddush cup? Um, I, I'm assuming that Maddie has the Kiddush well, cup. Well, it's she... there. We go. It comes right to to Maddie. That very good. Thank you so much. And before we go to Kiddush, one more one more little uh, presentation. Uh, Janet, you're back. Okay, I can't. I, I cannot follow Alana anymore after because <laughs> she's just really too good at at uh, focusing on our beautiful students. Um, so Maddie, uh, so this is my role as sisterhood, but I want to tell you that it has been a pleasure and an adventure working with you this year. I know how hard you worked. I know what a great kid you are. I can't wait to celebrate your bat mitzvah day with you tomorrow. I'm so proud of you. Um, the sisterhood has planted a tree, which you will have a certificate in your stuff there. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was cool. Um, uh, we've planted a tree at our sister synagogue. Excuse me. Let me read this again. We've made a contribution to the garden at our sister synagogue, Kahilat Sor Hadassah in Israel. Um, so your um, money that we donated goes to the gardens at that synagogue. So if you're ever in Israel, you should stop by there and see it. Uh, quite beautiful, I'm told, although I have not seen it myself. But um, we're connecting you to the land of Israel with our donation. And we look forward to seeing you become a beautiful young woman of Temple. Thank you so much, Maura Janet. Um, all right. And now, um, if you have your Kiddush cups uh, ready, uh, Maddie is going to lead us in Kiddush. Uh, you have your binder there? I have the paper. Excellent. 
Vahelu hashamayim ve'art v'hol tevan v'hel him v'yom ashvi melakto asher asa v'yibot v'yom ashvi mikol melakto asher asa v'yivar hello him ed yom ashvi v'yikadash oto kivot shabbat mikol melakto asher bara elohim laso v'arachat adonai eloheinu melchalam borei peri hagafen v'arachat adonai Eloheinu melech alam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotav v'ratavanu, v'shabah kocho b'avat u'vratzon k'inkilanu, zikaron l'mase v'reishi, ki hu yom tehila l'mari e'kodesh, zeher l'itziat mitraim, ki vanu v'harta v'otanu k'idashta mikol hamim, Shabbat kojaha, Bahava uvratum, in kiltanu, Barahata adonai, Mekadesh, Ha Shabbat. Amen. I guess I was muted. I apologize. <laughs> we thought you were speechless by how well managed. I you did. was. I was absolutely speechless. No, I wasn't. I said how fantastic <laughs> it is, uh, Mazel Tov. And um, uh, tomorrow morning, ten thirty. Um, after three weeks of struggling with some uh, internet issues at Temple Emmanuel, uh, this afternoon things have been restored. So we're very excited. While we can't really be uh, there. Other than the immediate family um, and myself, we can't be there in the sanctuary. But that's that's not that's only half of an excuse. You are all invited. Uh, the link was in the show for blast, and we very much look forward to seeing many of you come celebrate together with Maddie. Learn some Torah from her. She's bringing some great wisdom uh, to all of us, and I'm really really excited for this very special moment. Now. Um, for our fifth and sixth graders, um, thank you guys. This was amazing, that, that, that wisdom that you have shared with us. And so we are going to close our service in a moment with a song. Um, it's a song that was written by uh, a friend of ours, uh, Alan Goodis, uh, together with many campers at Camp Eisner. Um, so this is a nice shout out to Eisner, Maddie, Maddie's camp, home away from home. Um, and um, it's a song that has a very, very special connection, of course, for our fifth and sixth graders, because they've been studying the words of prophets and they have learned Chazak ve'amatz. You shall uh, be strong and strengthen uh, one another. Um, there you go. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not and nor be dismayed. So it so sounds like a good message uh, for our time. You guys ready to be strong together? <coughs> I've got the power, I've got the tough, I am daring enough to be hurt. I've got the grit, I've got the spark, I am a light when the world gets dark. Courageous, be strong, make it contagious, don't stop. You've got the fight. Stand up, go be courageous, be strong, make it contagious, don't stop. You've got the fight. We'll band together, we'll heed the call. We are relentless, we won't fall. We'll break the ceiling, we'll touch the sky. They clip our wings and we still fly. Stand up, go be courageous, be 
is strong Make it contagious, don't stop you got the fight Stand up, go be courageous Be strong, make it contagious Don't stop, you got the fight now we're going to do the Hebrew lines, so repeat after me. I want to see your lips moving. Chazak ve'amatz. Chazak ve'amatz. Al ta'arotz ve'al te'chat. Chazak ve'amatz. Al ta'arotz ve'al te'chat. Chazak ve'amatz. Al ta'arotz ve'al te'chat. Chazak ve'ematz Al ta'arotz ve'al te'chat Stand up, go be courageous, be strong Make it contagious, don't stop You got the fight Stand up, go be courageous, be strong Make it contagious, don't stop You got the fight Stand up, go be courageous, be strong, make it contagious, don't stop, you got the fight. Stand up, go be courageous, be strong, make it contagious, don't stop, you got the fight. So, Friday night, Shabbat, there is a traditional blessing for children, a wonderful special moment since this is a family service. If your kids are there with you, place your arms uh, on, around them, on their head. Um, if their children are not with you, you can imagine them being there with you and you can stretch your, uh, your arms towards them. Yeah, that's right. Parents can hug too. That's, that's good. That's good, Lou. I, I like that. I, I like that. I, I saw that. Um, and of course, um, some of us don't have kids. This is why we form and band communities. We, we come together and we raise the next generation of all of our children together, um, supporting each other. And so it's a beautiful moment for the girls in honor of Maddie. We say, Yisimech Elohim Kesara Rivka Rachel Velea. And for the boys, we say, Yisimcha Elohim Kefraim Vechimenashe. May God bless you as God blessed all of our ancestors. Uh, and of course, for all of us, we say, Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, Ya'er Adonai Pana v'lecha v'chuneka, Yisa Adonai Pana v'lecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May the blessings of God always surround you. Uh, may God give you, all the children of Israel and all the humankind, God's gift of peace. And let us say, Amen. Now, if you haven't run away just yet, don't run away. Stick around for a few minutes. Uh, we will uh, we will stop our transmission on YouTube and we will allow people to stop by in our little breakout rooms.